Hello, hope you guys are having a good day. We're going to be playing Love Machine by Hiromu656. Let's go ahead and read the Itch.io description real quick. Sequence 1. It's your first date with that girl from your neighborhood. You're nervous, but you'll try to play it cool. This could be the start of a beautiful relationship. Music by Donald Timo. We sat together in the most beautiful restaurant I had ever seen. There was a cold silence in the... We sat together in the most beautiful restaurant I had ever seen. There was classical music playing amongst conversations I couldn't care to listen to. It may as well have been silent. All that mattered was her. I could truly do anything for her. Hmm. Yet, for some reason, I can't remember her name. Are you having a good time? <laughs> Did that... <laughs> Was that okay? Should I continue doing that? I guess this isn't live, so who knows. Of course. Am I saying that out loud? As long as I'm with you, I can't complain. Is there anything on your mind? Oh, I'm actually... Okay, whoops. I thought this whole time I was saying this, like, um, in my head? I don't know. Is there anything on your mind? Please talk as much as you'd like. I'm here to listen. That's so sweet. Do you remember the first time we met? This is a little embarrassing, but I can't lie to you. I don't remember. I'm sorry. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. You know everything you're supposed to. Oh, that's good to hear. We met at the compound in section 14. I liked you and wanted to learn from you, so I told you to meet me here. Meet you at the restaurant? Yes, the restaurant. You had never been here before. Well, thanks for inviting me. You're welcome. I know you don't get to eat much. Next time, I'll remember to bring you some food. That's okay. We can just order here, right? Oh, right, of course. I wonder what's taking the waiter so long. No, that's no worry. Just talking to you is enough for me. <laughs> Maybe you're a bit too romantic. <laughs> hey, I'm with you. I don't want to reset the machine again, so we'll just stick with it. I don't understand. Am I being too direct? Are you like training chat GPT here? No, of course not. I'm glad you're here. I have a lot I want to say. And more I want to hear. We don't do therapy. So maybe that's what this is for me. You won't retain much, but it should make me feel better. I know that sounds selfish. You would thank me if you could remember. Any time away from there is a blessing. She has such a way with words. Oh, that's on me. Yeah, italics, obviously, that's your thoughts. What the heck? I couldn't quite understand it all. Oh, sorry. I couldn't quite understand it all, but I tried to keep up. I let her speak for as long as she liked. I answered every question she had as best as I could. She wanted to know so much about me. I didn't know how to respond, but I did my best. <laughs> I'm not auditioning for anything, by the way. I, okay. I love to build. It's something we can all do, but it's different for me. It's like 
my purpose. I think that's what you could call it. You know, I wasn't capable of affecting your environment before. The upgrades plus the new code open up a world of possibilities. I'm happy for you. Oh, oh, that's me. I'm happy for you. You're always so supportive and such a great listener. No matter what I say, you never waver or snap out of it. But there's still just one problem. It seems like no matter what commands I give you, you're always drawn to the machine. I can't figure it out. Should I increase my beauty value? Or should I decrease your self-esteem? Hmm. I guess I could try both. That's a great idea. You've always been so clever. <laughs> what do you think of the machine? I don't understand. What machine? Good. It can only keep you under for so long. It uses so much power and the parts I use to build it aren't the best. Hmm. These buildings have long been abandoned, way before my model was developed. Yet, this place still feels familiar to me. That was somewhere humans once lived, believe it or not. I suppose it's better than what you have now. I feel like I should apologize for that. But you know it's not what I, all of us wanted, right? I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. But I know you would never hurt me. Good. We're not all like that. I wish I could let you be yourself. Although, that wouldn't end well. We don't get to be around each other like this. We aren't meant to learn from humans unsupervised. But if I direct your thoughts, there's no harm, right? That's how we're programmed as well. I... Sorry, I'll, I'll be more considerate with my words. I can imagine how confusing it must feel. Maybe one day we could go on a real date. With no machine, just whatever's in your heart. That would be nice. I know you don't understand, but this is helpful for me. I wish I didn't have to take you back. This could be... Oh no! Huh? W where am I? Stupid, stupid! I forgot to reach. <laughs> I'm not auditioning. Stupid, stupid! I forgot to recharge the generator. Hey, who's there? <laughs> What was that? I felt a sharp pinch on my neck. I launched myself from the chair. I swung my arms in all directions searching for that voice. It was no use. My body began to feel numb. My legs gave out and I crashed to the floor. Are you okay? You were out for longer than I expected. Ugh. Don't touch your head. I thought you had broken the device when you fell. Fortunately, it was just a damaged wire. With a bit of tape, I got it situated and functional. So don't touch it. I'll take it off when I get you back to the compound. <sighs> I shouldn't keep you any longer. Let's go home. Wait, how was dinner? It was delicious. 
Good. You will hate me when you see me again. For both of our safety, it's best you don't remember any of this. She led me out of the restaurant and into a desert. What was such a beautiful place doing out here? The further we walked, the clearer my mind became. And before I knew it, she was gone. There was something on my head. Is this a gift from her? I pulled it from my scalp and my mind met the truth. Ooh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was decent. That was really interesting. Huh. I actually played another game by this developer called Waterwheel. Pretty fun game. The puzzles are really, really interesting, but I gotta say the writing here was intriguing. I don't, I can't say I'm not gonna reread this just to kind of get a better idea of the story, or at least get another interpretation, but right now it sounds like either one or both of them are like robots or something, right? Because they're not supposed to be having unsupervised human-like interactions or something like that, but at least one or two of them are definitely like androids or cyborgs but she's in control she has some sort of power over him or maybe she's building a bunch of bots or trying to recreate somebody or create the perfect boyfriend um and i'm saying all this having forgot the title of the game so <laughs> let me close this real quick let's put the browser back on for a second this game is called love machine that makes a lot of sense Okay, yeah, definitely seems like the type of game where either she's making you and, uh, you know, she's like, okay, beta one done, time to send him out to the desert, gotta fire into the next one, I don't know. I'm gonna replay it. I want you guys to think about it. Um, give me a one out of ten on my voice acting. If you give me a one, the first person to give me a one, I'm gonna heart and pen. <laughs> 